that that's the kind of guy Muhammad Ali was. We saw that in all his great fights, the thrill in Manila. The guy just wouldn't quit. He wouldn't. Is that the kind of guy you are? Yes, I'm a. I don't understand quitting when it comes down to it. You know, um, when when the lights are on and uh, the crowd screaming, that feeds me. That gives me the energy that I need, and uh, and my corner gives me everything that I need mentally. Uh, to go out there and, 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 and do a good job. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I wanted to, to quickly follow up on Muhammad Ali. Uh, you said in, in other interviews he was like a king uh, and all rolled up in one. Yeah. But the fighter, the guy in the ring, yeah. was he not the greatest heavyweight of all time? What did you think of him? Definitely the greatest heavyweight of all time. His hand speed matched by um, invisible power that I think you know people may have misjudged because of his hand speed and foot quickness. But uh, he's done things at a, at a heavyweight at, at heavyweight that guys at 106, 110, 112, 147 pounds we try to do. You know, so he just was he was infamous in every single way, top to bottom. Uh, experts always said it was it's hard to learn from Ali because he kind of got away with doing everything wrong. But is there anything as a fighter you can learn from Ali? You can learn all of it. Every everything that he does, I could get in here and I could emulate him right now. It's and it's and there's a joy in doing what he was able to do, you know. But yeah, he broke all the rules, and uh, but that's what makes you great when you can break the rules and still be successful. Um, that's that's not saying, hey man. Go break some rules. You, you'll be all right. right. I'm just simply saying that for him, it worked. And if I could do what 50% of what he did the right way, and then I'll be all right. And that's what I try to do.